Kiwi band Stormporter join me today in the studio. Although not so Kiwi origins, we've got Tones and Tim. How are you guys? Good. Good. Right, Thanks for having us in. Yeah. 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 Tell me about how you guys came to be because you're originally from Scotland, Tones, That's is that right? right? Yeah. And you're from Northern England? Yep. That's right. How, how long have you been in New Zealand? How did this all come to be? Uh, I've been here two and a half years, I think. Yep. Um, Tones has been here. I quite a while. A long, long time now. <laughs> right. yeah, it's almost an honorary Kiwi now. Yeah. Okay, cool, sweet. <laughs> but so the accent's still there. How did you How did you come to be Stormporter? Did you guys know each other beforehand? Did you just, just... Yeah, through a musical sort of mutual respect, I think, of music. Right. And uh, I supported his old band. Uh-huh. Uh, he, yeah, he helped me out with a few links and a few gigs and stuff. I pretty much met him soon after he came off the plane. Really. Yeah, I don't think he came weeks, um, yeah. Wow. He, came, he actually came to audition for my old band and um, we were looking for a uh, singer at the time, but um, it wasn't quite what we were looking for for that particular band. And, right. uh, but we kept in touch and uh, kind of knew that our paths would cross again sometime and um, yeah. So obviously you guys have had a musical background then for separately. Yep. What, what kind of stuff have you been doing? Like are you, what, have you been doing singer-songwriter stuff? Yes, yeah, so band and, stuff? and both really. Um, from about 2002 I was in an indie band here with my best friend from school. I was a guitarist Choice. and uh, yep. backing vocalist. We did a few gigs in London, mm -hmm. Manchester, Liverpool, all that kind of stuff and then played Leeds Festival. That's two, huge. 2005 and then it all sort of, because we've been doing it such a long time and we would have never really took any serious jobs. So I sort of went solo and then did quite a few gigs in London again. So, sort of the similar circuit I did with the other band from Contacts from that. Yeah. And then released an album and then sort of, yeah, met Tony and I thought, you know, two heads are better than one kind of thing. So, so who else is in the rest of the band? Um, it's sort of me and you write the songs. So you're the... Me and Tony, yeah. Tom, so write the songs. Um, so and pretty, much, pretty much a duo at the moment. Yeah. We're pulling musicians as we need them. Oh, and, cool. Um, okay, right. We, basically, that idea came from Ben King. Um, cool. From Golden Wars fame. Yep. We sat down with him to talk about the record, and um, he got really excited about the demos. And uh, at the time, we didn't have a full band. And he said, look, don't worry about that. Just cool. you, know, you guys are the nucleus. You know, just focus on the songwriting. Mm -hmm. And um, he said, I know a lot of people will pull people in as we need them. Totally. And so we've got a drummer on board and a bass player on board. And, sure. you know, we'll, we'll, we'll often perform as a six piece, which is the full, the full band with trumpet and uh, keys. That's sometimes insane. we'll do maybe just a duo, just the two of us, might be four of us sometimes. So it's, we'll mix it up. We'll mix it That's up, really yeah. cool. So you're quite versatile and you can go in all sorts of different yeah. ways and yeah. stuff. So, well, let's talk about for people that don't know you guys and haven't really heard too much of you, influences for Stormporter. Like, what are you guys drawing on? Uh, big Beatles influence. Um, cool. All sort of Britpop kind of stuff. Right. But, but sort of like. Northern Soul as well is quite a big influence in Motown and all that. So it's sort of a mix between it all and then a bit of rock in there as well. Really. Right, so yeah. Tell me how you jumped on board with Ben King for, as you know, production-wise um, and stuff. Well, we started off, we got, so we got the band together, well, us two. We got a set of songs, some that we'd written together, some separately, some hymns from me. Um, so we thought, right, we need to get out and do gigs, we need to do a demo. So then we thought, well, if we're going to do a demo, we might as well do a record, we might as well do If we do this, we might as well get a single. If we're going to get a single, yeah. we need a producer. So really, it all went yeah, like that, really, yeah. didn't it? We don't really want to get yeah. a producer involved, and um, I started to do a bit of searching around, and of course, me being here longer than Tim, I, yeah. I knew a few more people, and um, Golden Horse and Grand Rappers, Ben's other band, mm. um, big fan of them. And, uh, cool. I, and I, I looked at Ben, I kept on coming back to Ben. I, was, you know, I looked at a few others, Andrew Buckton and, and you know, the usual suspects, and, uh, but no, Ben just, he just seems to have this knack to find the heart of a pop song, you know? Yeah. And, and, and he immediately clicked with us and understood what we were. Um, tell me about some shows. Are you gonna, guys going to play live or have you been yeah, playing live much? Yeah, we, we, did, we did our EP, re uh, sorry, our single release at Nectar Bar with two great bands, Kingsland, yeah. Ezra Vine and Kingsland, 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 Kingsland. Race. <laughs> then we, uh, yeah. Sell it, and then we just, we just did Echo Fest. Yeah, it was, it was, yeah, in fact, we did um, the Echo Fest, so pick that. They, they asked us to do that we, on Sunday, which mm -hmm. was a good laugh. <laughs> and then we've got a few gigs coming up. We're playing here, actually. I think, is it here? Yeah, At this yeah. Brion Juice Bar. Oh, yeah, goodness yeah, yeah. gracious. Probably yeah, New Zealand Music Month, yeah. yeah. Mid, mid May, and then yes. King's Arms in June. So, yeah, we're looking to get out there in May as, as far and wide as possible, get as visible as possible during the Zealand Music Month. It's, uh, and so, like, because for the rest of the country who are watching, going, like, what about, you know, the rest of the country? <laughs> Any oh, thoughts yeah. on yeah, taking it, it on the road? And oh, definitely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Once we get a few more gigs under our belt and a bit tighter as a unit with the people, you know, with the musicians we're using at the moment, yeah. then we'll go out and, yeah. Take it to the world. Definitely. Uh, conquer New Zealand and take it up beyond New Zealand or Aussie and <laughs> beyond there as well, back to the UK. Well, we're in talks with like, <laughs> venues and stuff in the UK for next year. For, oh, choice. So we'll do the similar thing that I used to do and mm -hmm. sort of tag on the back of that, really, and go and do that. Yeah. Groovy. Well, let's, um, let's go on to your single called Find Yourself. Tell me about this video clip before we check it out. 
Okay, um, yeah, we sort of Northern Soul influence with the dancing and... Yeah. Was, uh, yeah. Yeah, we thought it'd be a point of difference, you know, and um, yeah. I mean, a lot of people won't know what Northern Soul is, although it does actually exist over here as well. I found that last year in August there was some big Northern Soul party. Cool. You used to have these 48 hour dance parties back in the UK in Northern England, but <laughs> I was, yeah. Just, Doesn't really seem to like, too much here, right? <laughs> crazy stuff, they just <laughs> dance and dance until they drop, you know, but it really was a, a real cult kind of thing. Yeah. It? It's about all the, the, the old. So, yeah. Like you said, we had Motown, and then you had all the, all the singles and stuff that weren't, you know, Big, bit like indie, independent really, but it's yeah. like independent yeah. soul, so yeah. they you know, used to have all these massive all night raves where they'd take all the records and people would swap them and all that. And sure. It still goes on now, I mean. And, and the connection with the actual story and, and the song itself, I guess, um, would be dancing, just losing yourself in the dance and just finding yourself again, you know what I mean? So, cool. you know, yeah. and then never letting go of this, I think. Oh, bring it on. All right, well, think about that while you watch this next video clip. In the meantime, check out Storm Porter on Facebook and uh, Word, hopefully, of an EP not too far away. Here they are with Find Yourself.